We are a little late. We're at Banana Bay. We'll get some better footage tomorrow. I know, a little dark for here, but we'll get some good footage tomorrow. But we're at Banana Bay Resort and Marina in Marathon. And we are in room 308. We haven't been here since they redid it a few years back. Right here. Initial, little, little seating area and table. We do have a deck looks out on the marina. So king bed, smells clean, looks clean. Uh, I'm hoping we have a little refrigerator. Oh, there we go. We have our coffee station and I brought extra creamer. It is, oh, okay. Let's see if I can find a light. Got a little bit of a closet in the bathroom. That way we can hang up anything we need. I like the color scheme. Oh, that's nice. Got your little towel rack. And, uh, Nice little shower. So, oh, rain head. Let you know how it is tomorrow. But for now, I think that is it tonight. Say hi, Bo. Hey, bye. <laughs> Coming out of the building that we're staying in, and directly to the right is the pool. All right, so this is the pool area. They have a hot tub. Wow, I have to say, I'm actually impressed with the size of the pool. And he said at its deepest, it's eight foot, which is really good. And I'm gonna say, oh, they also told us that it was heated. Once a month, they have someone coming in and it's called Snuba. It's where you have the air compressor on the little floaty. Uh, so you can kind of try breathing underwater. It's a combination between scuba diving and, and snorkeling. Uh, the hoses are 10 foot, so that's the deepest you can go. But still, it's nice to give it a shot. You'll have to call the resort to find out exactly when it is. Jet skis. Yep, you can rent jet skis here. Obviously, you can bring a boat here. They have a ramp and a number of slips. Obviously, you can get some bigger boats in here. It is really pretty out here. Nice and quiet this morning too. This opens up for drinks, uh, wine, beer, whatnot. They've got some of the games. What is that, Cornhole? Connect Four, just some nice areas to... Sunset Point Bar. Yep, okay, Sunset, Sunset Point Bar.
room is great. Honestly, it's a good size. There's plenty of room for both of us. Uh, if you want to pan around, we have our scuba corner. Yeah, we came down here to go scuba diving and we have a corner there for all our gear after we washed it and dried it. Yeah, the balcony was big enough we were able to hang everything out and let it kind of dry there. A little table, a little sofa for watching TV. Um, actually, it's a little futon, but it's not, it's yeah. not uncomfortable. The bed, <laughs> I am going to say, I thought it was too soft when I first uh, crawled in it, but now I'm going to ask him if I can take it home because... We slept well, and it may have been because we were exhausted. But we didn't have the girls in bed with us, meaning our dogs. Yes, we were not. We were not sharing with two four-footed uh, little bed hogs. Um, but yeah, I have no complaints about uh, about the room, other than I would say if I had to if I had to pick something, don't put tile in a shower in a hotel unless use dark grout. Yeah, it, you know, because <clears throat> it does get a little grungy looking and, and it is hard to keep. And that's just um, the humidity down here in the Keys. Yes, and the amount of people that come through here. So um, they need to either find a product to knock it out or, or do some darker grout lines. But other than that, I mean, it's been a great stay. Um, but all that aside, there is one reason that you come to the keys and luckily we did get the waterfront room um i always try to do that when we come down here at any hotel depending actually regardless of the water that because you can be atlantic side you can be gulf side and then down when we stay in coconut k that's another video by the way um it was actually on a canal so, but regardless, we do like to look out our window and, and see a boat, see a, see a bit of water, see whatever. So, but other than that, I hope you enjoy the video.